Um, so as a preliminary matter, this is uh, Martha Taylor. Um, I guess right now I'm the chair of the Newbury Board of the Boston Committee. And permit me to confirm that all members and persons anticipated on the agenda are present and can hear me. So Ted Russell. Yes. Uh, Brian Baldwin. Yep. Uh, Kelly Kiley. Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah, I'm controlling that. Oopsie. Sorry. <laughs> you want me to say, it's either I stay unmuted and there's going to be a little noise or you just mute me the whole time unless someone addresses me. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no apologies needed. No apologies needed. That's fine. Sorry. Someone's yeah. begging me for... So why don't you stay stay unmuted because um, and see how it works. Okay. All right. All right. Hope for the best. Yeah. Um, let's see. And Steve, who's not here yet. And we have one guest, uh, Jerry Klima. And I know that Sid cannot join us today. Correct. So, yeah. Okay. So these are all the people that we're expecting at the meeting. So good afternoon, this January 21st, 2021, open meeting of the Newbury Board of Boston Committee is being conducted remotely. Consistent with Governor Baker's executive order of March 12, 2020, due to the current state of emergency in the Commonwealth due to the outbreak of COVID-19 virus. In order to mitigate the transmission of COVID-19, we have been advised and directed by the Commonwealth to suspend public gatherings and as such, the governor's order suspends the requirement of the open meeting law to have all meetings in a publicly accessible physical location. Further, all members of public bodies are allowed and encouraged to participate remotely. The order, which you can find posted with agenda materials for this meeting, allows public bodies to meet entirely remotely so long as reasonable public access is afforded so that the public can follow along with the deliberations of the meeting. Uh, for this meeting, the Newbury Board of Boston Committee is convening by video conference via Zoom as posted on the planning board's agenda, or I'm sorry, the Board of Boston Committee's agenda, which can be found on the um, agenda section of the town's website, which identifies how the meeting may be joined. And it's uh, entering uh, zoom.us and entering meeting ID 896-2957-6992 or by calling 1-929-205-6099 and entering the meeting ID when prompted. Please note that this meeting is being recorded and that attendees are participating by video and or telephone conference. Uh, the meeting agenda was provided to the board members prior to the meeting for review. Um, and uh, there are no applicants or representatives. So, and I think for, um, uh, for the committee, we'll keep ourselves unmuted, keep everybody else muted. Um, if there is any public participation, if somebody would like to uh, participate, they can use the raised hand function on the Zoom or uh, toggle six on their phone, um, but I am controlling the ability to mute or for people to unmute themselves. Um, and any vote taken in this meeting will be conducted by roll call vote. So I think we're picking up um, where we left off last week. Uh, we were discussing the B2B committee member roles. Um, and we're just kind of partway into that discussion. Yeah, I think we were, I think I was in the middle of just talking about, um, you know, the justification or reason for starting a community um, group. Um, right, like you know, a what, the... And I think, um, you know, the, the two or three points I think would be, um, you know, an avenue to share either photos or updates and then just try to build some more community support locally, you know, a place that people can you know, in Facebook land like, or, um, you know, follow at least to kind of, you know, get some ad hoc updates about what's going on. Um, I think that, I think it would fill a gap for what exists right now and um, could certainly be used at least as a place to 
you know, let people see that there is momentum going forward. You know, we're starting to um, try to push a bit more. And if there's people that are interested, they can kind of help get on board as well. No, I think that makes sense. I mean, certainly um, we could also put some, you know, update the website with information um, mm -hmm. when there's really something to, um, you know, to post, but it's not the same as a community group. So yeah. it would be a, a sort of a twofold parallel effort. So is there any reason a, a Brian and Kelly as discussed previously couldn't just begin start begin forming such a group and we, we the, you know, the town committee would publicize it as appropriate at the right time? I don't see why not. I'm gonna actually ask Jerry to unmute himself um, to um, see, Jerry, did, did you have a, a Friends of the Trails committee in Salisbury or how did you handle that? Oh, yeah, I, I, yeah, we, well, we had, we sort of were friends, now it's sort of evolved into a maintenance committee, but it's the same. Sure. And um, basically, I have a, uh, you know, Coastal Trails has a big email list, okay? And we send out, you know, if you did a cleanup or something like that, we would send that, you know, we'd be, Coastal Trails would be happy to send notices out to the whole list, but also I maintain a separate list uh, of Salisbury people or some of them are not Salisbury people, but people who have come to cleanups and are sort of, and you know, sort of on the list, you know, for that purpose. Okay. And that's about people. And so, you know, when we do a cleanup or have some job or something like that, I either send out a general thing or I contact somebody who I know would. So I'm basically, I'm the administrator, okay. And the other thing that we do, and you know, eventually you 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 could do it uh, for in coastal trails, is that we have an adopt a trail program that um, you know people make on make annual contributions for maintaining the Salisbury trails, and coastal trails has a separate um, you know earmarked account, not a an earmarked sub account essentially that with that where that you know in money that comes in money comes out is tracked all the time and um, we have actually we have a Newberry account that was uh, the people who donated money in, in the name of John Van Schockwick mm -hmm. uh, so we have I I think it's in the I, I don't have that in my head but it's less than a thousand dollars but it's something so we could, you know, that Newberry account can be could be used for anything that you guys would want to use it for. Okay. So so we could possibly then, or we this you could put money group in. to be formed could could use that as seed money to yeah. for expenses needed to get this group off the ground. And right. uh, it seems like it would make sense to tie it in with the CTC as much as possible. Obviously, use your existing large mailing list. Right, and also, you know, so it, CTC is a, a nonprofit. If people want to make contributions, it's a charitable contribution. Yep. And you don't have to hold the money personally or anything. You can hold it in a sub account. Sure. Yeah, I, I would think in terms of getting started, I mean, I would think the, the barrier to entry is pretty low right now. I mean, it, it could be just a, you know, Facebook group page that is kind of gated for, you know, just to make sure it's somebody local-ish that we can then add in and, you know, set up a little bit of, you know, rules being related to the trail, you know, nothing slanderous or, you know, pretty low bar. And then we kind of see where it goes and post kind of some news and, and see, I think to your point, Jerry, um, use it as an avenue for pulling in either folks that are interested in contributing to the larger CTC or kind of helping up with cleanups or, you know, efforts going forward. Yeah. Well, it could also be a good way for getting, you know, word out when we get to the point of, you know, 25% um, public hearing and, and things yep. like that. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe maybe having some, some public meetings at some point, um, their milestones 
um, and possibly also if there are people who have concerns about it, at least getting, um, you know, getting input from them as well so that we can potentially address it. Yeah, no, great point, Martha. So, so as far as next steps, I mean, it, it doesn't sound like it's anything that needs a vote of this committee. It's obviously, it came out of a discussion in this committee, but is there any reason Brian and Kelly couldn't move off and form a Facebook group or whatever makes sense and then the next meeting report back and yeah. tell everyone how, how, it's, how it's going or, you know. Yeah, that sounds, sounds good to me. Um, yeah, I, th I think that would be okay. Um, it's, um, it would be less, less than a quorum. I guess the only concern is since this, you know, it's basically sort of a, a subset of our, our committee, whether there would be any issues with that. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. So I could. Okay. Uh, so as long as only two members of our committee are in this group, then there should never be an issue, right? Because we right now have five members on the committee. Is that what you're saying, Martha? Well, it would be it would be less than a quorum. I don't know if it would qualify as a as a uh, distinct subcommittee, but I uh... it's better not to be. A, uh, you know, I'm I don't have any official uh, responsibility in Salisbury, but you know, I just know a lot of people. I can call the DPW director. You know, it's all it's all you know. It's, it, it, it isn't official. <laughs> yeah, so just, I mean, can we just informally agree that, you know, it will be Brian and Kelly, I'm not going to be involved at all. You won't, Martha, you know, except to discuss when we do have committee meetings and, um, you know, Steve as well. And as long as there isn't a discussion of that group that could be, you know, that would be three or more that, that would appear as a discussion in the committee. That's, that's a concern, right, Martha, with the open meeting right. lives. Yeah, we want to make sure we don't, there's no violation. Yeah. So sure. um, again, I don't think a committee decision is needed. Just, I think it's, it's worthwhile having this discussion and make sure we're all well aware of, of that potential issue. That's, that's my thought. I'm just. Yeah, <laughs> no, that, that sounds good. Yeah, I think that was Kelly, you reaching out too. And just the concern, you know, are, you know, can we go forward? What's, are there any roadblocks? So I think we're good. It's a, distinctive division from you know this group's business and um we'll we'll kind of get something together and just you know let let the group know next next time we meet i think it's better if you don't you know have it official but you know as a committee when you have meetings if there are things that you're trying to do you can you know you can ask ask brian to do something you know exactly mm -hmm. Right. So when we when we had the discussion on the um, you know the first first part of this meeting, I started to list through some of the roles we discussed, and I wanted to bring up there was one that had been mentioned in the December meeting um, that I didn't bring up, and that's the one Steve suggested, which would be a a um, interface with the um, our state legislators and and you know, members of Congress as as, as appropriate. Um, I know we did discuss it a little. I think Martha, you said it was probably premature to have that discussion with regard to the, um, um, you know, so some of the current issues and the, the um, you know, what Stantec and MassDOT are doing. Um, but I just wanted to be complete in the list of proposed roles that had come up in the December meeting. Right. Yeah. And I think my my feeling is that you know, right right now. Um, I, I think it may be, I do think it's a little, little premature. Um, mm -hmm. You know, my understanding is that, you know, there's a new project manager who's moving things forward. Um, so it seems to be getting off the, the stall point that it's been on for, for quite mm -hmm. some time. Yep. Um, you know, but certainly I know that Senator Tyre's office has been, you know, very receptive in the past. Mm -hmm. uh, so, um, you know, I think at the appropriate time, certainly it would be good to, to reach out to them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so any other thoughts on member roles? Um, 
the other ones we defined what were Ted you you were going to be the kind of official liaison to CTC yeah and that's that's one that okay. had previously been Near identified had identified and, okay yep and I was not able to attend the last CTC meeting and of course Sid I assume did Jerry but she's not here today but um, there was one between our December 13th um, interrupted meeting and this one so maybe would it be appropriate Martha for Jerry to bring up if anything relevant came up we, we Sid and I both talked about uh, Newberry and that you're meeting in Newberry during the meeting so okay we'll know all right so okay. okay um you know a couple of other things come to my mind but it's really more going forward um uh kind of tied into the license agreement and so on and so forth but you know, and it, it kind of goes back to what Jerry mentioned earlier as well, but you know, maybe people who would organize cleanups um, at the appropriate time and that kind of stuff. And we're not there yet, but there, you know, there are physical roles that might be worth thinking about um, mm -hmm. at some point. You know, Kelly was saying that a lot of people are using the trail now, not only pedestrians, but also bicyclists and things like that. And that part of it surprised me, but. Um... Well, COVID is sending everybody outside, you know. Yeah. That's, what I, that's what I was saying, yeah. Yeah. What opportunity there is for being outside and this is one of them, so. Right. And it's one of the few areas in Byfield where you can actually walk safely. Right. As opposed to on some of the narrow roads. Yep. Oh. Yep. No sidewalks or street lights in Byfield. <laughs> no sidewalks. Mm -hmm. Few. Right. Um, okay. So anyway, yeah. I mean, going forward, I think there will be more roles that really um, will develop out of uh, you know the the trail as it becomes sort of real going forward. Mm -hmm. So on a, I don't know if you're ready to move on, Martha, but on a uh, related topic that wasn't strictly on the agenda last time, but it sort of came up um, in acknowledging that Sid Rashki is interested in, in joining. Um, and I had an email exchange with her and then also with you, uh, Martha, that a committee vote isn't required. Um, basically, I think Kelly, that's you just sent a letter to the select board and you're on the committee. Um, yes. I think that, that's the process, but Sid did provide her a short bio to, uh, I can't remember who was on distribution, but um, I think what we had discussed was maybe just having a letter of recommendation from those of us on the committee who know her to the, to the select board. Yeah, I mean, the, the process would be for her to contact the select board directly, send an email with her, her interest in her qualifications or background or whatever yep. if if the committee would you know like to write um a letter of support mm -hmm. um you know saying that several members know her and she's attended a committee meeting or something um that it's not necessary but that you know that wouldn't um it would be a nice thing to do okay i mean i'd be glad to write that letter does that need a, a motion and a vote or well, we could take a say, make a, a motion and a vote in support of her um, interest in joining the committee, mm -hmm. and um, direct you to write a letter um, that letter right. of support. All right. Well, I so move. I, I move that um, we write a letter of recommendation uh, recommending the select board accept uh, Sid Rashke's uh, request for appointment to this committee. Okay. Uh, second? Sure, second. Okay, so we need to do a roll call vote. Um, Ted? Yes. Okay. Brian? Yes. Okay, Kelly? Yes. Okay, and I vote yes. Steve's not here. So, okay, motion passes. And I think um, that was that, well, um, other, other than that, the only other item of business really was the uh, review and, and um, approval of the meeting minutes from June 27th, October 23rd, uh, both 2019 and December 3rd of 2020. 
So has everybody had, had a chance to go through those minutes? Yep, the ones you sent out, right, Ted? Yes, mm -hmm. yep. so not before the last or the first iteration of this meeting. All right, and I have. So, so I assume the, the vote to approve would, would only come from those members who were on the committee at the time. Um, I've actually been advised by people that um, that's not necessarily so. They can't make changes to the minutes, but yep. they could vote to accept yep. them. Okay, I wasn't trying to exclude anybody. I just, just right. a little common right. sense. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, in the past, that's always how we've done it for yep. any committee meetings is only the people who are present, but. Right. Um, so uh, would somebody like to make a motion? To approve those minutes. <laughs> I'll also move. I, I move. Okay. The um, second. Minutes as as with, there was one amendment on, on the one from the original version that was sent around. So everybody should have the one, all three, the most recent ones. In 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 one case, there's there are changes flagged as a, as changes that aren't yet. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I so I move that we uh, approve the. Minutes of the last three meetings. Okay. Somebody want to second that? I'll second that. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't at, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> any any discussion? No. No. All right. Uh, seeing none, we'll take a vote. Ted. Yes. Brian. Yes. Okay. Kelly. Yes. Okay, and me, yes. Okay, they're approved. So we'll get, I'll, um, we'll get those posted up on the website then. And, and just a comment on my drafting of the minutes. The, the, the first two had a fair amount of detail and before I wrote the last ones, uh, it's a lot more condensed and that's not because I got lazy, it's because I, I read what's actually required in, in minutes and it really is just a fairly concise discussion of what was discussed. It's not at a, a full transcript of the meeting. So that's why the third one is much more condensed. And right. And a lot easier to write. <laughs> yes. And these are not public hearings. Save some time. <laughs> yep. So um, the last item on the agenda is next steps. So, um, well, as one step, I think we had talked about trying to meet on a monthly basis. So do you want to try to set a date now for the next meeting or shall I send something out and we can kind of see what works for everybody and say roughly the, the same time frame, the second or third week of February? It's always going to be the same for me. So it doesn't really matter. I can just, I, it's going to be the the same thing. <laughs> yeah, this, this time, really? this time generally, this time works for me. And if it's the further it's kind of scheduled out, then I can hold it. Yeah, the, 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 same, same with me. There's no, no, uh, nothing. This, this time is, is, is really good with me. And, and the last couple of times, Steve seemed pretty open as well. So obviously, yeah. you know, he yeah. might have a conflict just yeah, yeah, today since it was kind of last minute. Yeah, if, yes. if it's his wife's birthday again, then we're, we're going to be suspicious he's avoiding us. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, all right. Well, in that case, I will check my calendar if that's all right and see sure. uh, see which or Thursday is generally good for you for you guys. Fine for me. Yeah, this, right. this time on Thursdays is fine for me. Okay. All right. So I'll look at the Thursdays in the second and third week of February and, and send out a suggestion and see if that works. If that's um, right. The only thing I think for, you know, just in preparation for that meeting, is there anyone else that we haven't reached out to yet that we would like to get some update from? Is it, have we been trying to get in touch with that, the new project manager or the, um, the environmental department around kind of the turtle holdups or is there anyone on either of those parties that we could get some updates from on what roadblocks are, what next steps could be? 
Um, I, I haven't heard anything yet. I can, I can put that on my list to, to send an email to, to them. Okay. And see if we can find out. My question, I have a question if that's okay. <laughs> if we, uh, if we start this, the Facebook group and there is sudden, there is interest, all of a sudden people get very excited about it. And hopefully that's more people that, that are angry about then that are angry about it. Um, we discourage them from trying to like clean it up. I guess my question would be like, if people are like, oh yeah, let's start doing stuff. Let's go down there, clean up all that stuff. I mean, they, they shouldn't, they shouldn't do anything until we anything. actually have a license agreement in place. Okay. So I'm just trying to think moving forward, if we were making posts on the Facebook page, like how we can make sure that we're presenting it in that way, that it's sure. very much in interest only and make people aware that we're trying to work on something. Right. Because basically yeah. National Grid has to approve kind of a scope of work and what might be done under the license agreement, you know, whether it's clearing, clearing brush or Right. Any, anything like that. So, so. so you could have you could have a pinned post or actually in a group it's a it's an announcement that basically stays at the top of the of the news feed that would have that information just so anybody coming to the group the first time would see that um, you know they can't go out clearing yet. But yeah, I'll make a note of that. That's a great idea. Yeah. Yeah, I run a couple of Facebook groups and nobody ever reads the pinned posts. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, good pull point. So it's the same here. <laughs> Rules, but or the, or the guidelines over to the right. Yeah. 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 So. All right, but we don't. Want, yeah, we don't want to cause any issues at this point. Sure. I have a couple neighbors who use it a lot, so I can just foresee it becoming like a very excitable thing. So I just wanted to. Mm -hmm. That's all. Right. Cool. I mean, I think the fact that National Grid actually came through through and did a lot of the brush clearing and stuff like that, it's maybe not quite as tempting right now as it would have been before, but that'll be growing back. So. It will very quickly. Yeah. <laughs> I, I could see it being more so, I mean, this spring, probably more so just because for people to kind of, you know, maintain it at the certain level it's at right now. So I, I feel like it'll be more so than last, last summer, last spring or the year before that. Yeah. Right. All right. Um, anybody else? So Martha, were you were you going to after you call Stan Tech, um, let let us know via email, uh, or wait until the next meeting to to give an update on that? Just wondering what the timing on that is. Just um, in the interest of, I guess it will depend on on what and when I hear back. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So if if I if I get something back and it's it's uh, you know seems worthy of reporting on, I, I will. I will send it on for information only, not for a discussion. Right, of course, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Any any anything else? Nothing else. All right. Then uh, I guess. Uh, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Who wants it, Kelly? Me or you? <laughs> Second. I just, uh. okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so I have to take a roll call vote. Uh, Ted? Yes. Uh, Brian? Yes. Kelly? Yes. Okay, and I'm a yes. So uh, we are adjourned at 3.33. So thank you very much. Thank you, Martha.